Hello YouTube! Today I'm going to show you how to create this awesome concrete plant pot. I will also tell you why this left pot turned out like... like this. First of all we will create the concrete mixture. This involves three key ingredients. The concrete I'm using for this plant pot is a mixture of one part of a Portland cement mixture, three parts sand and I'm using white sand and of course in the end we'll add some water to this. But before we will add the water, we'll add all the dry ingredients to a bucket. Mix these dry ingredients till you get a consistent color. In this case, I'm looking for just one shade of grey. Now you can add some water. Just don't overdo it or you'll end up with soup instead of concrete. Mix everything together till you get the consistency you're looking for. In my case, I added a bit too much water. So be careful not to overdo the water. With the mixture ready, we now need our molds to form the plant pot. I'm using these plastic plant pots because I can reuse them and create an infinite amount of concrete plant pots. These surfaces will be exposed to the concrete mixture but we want to reuse them once the concrete has dried out. So we will cover these surfaces with some oil. Grab some oil and a paper towel. In this case I'm using olive oil, but you can use any type of oil I guess. Put some oil on the towel. Treat the surfaces with the oil. Cover the outside of the small pot and the inside of the large pot. Set up your pots near the bucket with the concrete mixture. Cover your workspace with some plastic foil or anything else that will do the job. Are you ready? Start scooping the concrete into the big pots. Don't fill the pots all the way up. This is because the smaller pots will go in there. Place the small pots inside the concrete and check if you've added enough concrete. To do this, push the smaller pot down and check if the pot and the concrete levels are equal. As you can see in this picture, the concrete will push the small pot upwards. We need to increase the weight of the smaller pot. Increase the weight of the small pots. Try using a beer perhaps? Hmm, or not. It seems this regular Belgian pills ain't strong enough. But no worries, this 16 kg kettlebell gets the job done. To remove most of the air bubbles that are trapped inside the concrete, you want to gently tap against the sides of the bigger pots. Since we're almost finished with the setup right now, you want to check if the small pots are well centered. Unless of course if you're aiming for a different look on your finished product. Bring your setup to a place where it can stay from 24 to 48 hours to dry. I made my concrete outside but I only realized later it was going to freeze at night so I had to move my pots inside. While the concrete is drying, start by cleaning your gear. If you do this before the concrete dries out, you'll make your life a lot easier. This is also a good time to muck up any spills you made while moving your setup. Allow the concrete to dry for 24 to 48 hours at least. Once the concrete is dry, you can start to remove the molds. I'm using a rubber hammer and just my hands for this. Gently tap the hammer against the molds, then fiddle with your fingers to try and loosen up the mold. 
After alternating the use of the hammer and my fingers, I was able to get the inner mold out. Remove the inner mold. Turn your pot around and start hammering around the bottom edges of the mold. Again, be gentle. Ta-da! Bravo! We got the molds off. Just look at your creation. The concrete still looks a bit wet. I cleaned off the outside with a paper towel and let the pot dry just for one more day. It turned out looking like this. Having used a bit too much water did get the edges very smooth. I didn't even need to sand the pot down. I could try and sand the top of the pot down a bit to make it as smooth as possible, but I like the way it looks for now. I haven't put the plant in the pot yet, but I'm sprouting some pepper seeds and I'm going to put one of those in there. For now, I'm just using the pot for the cozy look it has when you put a candle inside it. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe if you're eager to find out more about my upcoming projects. The first upcoming video will probably be a cooking course on how to make a chili con carne, so stay tuned. Stick around if you want to know how this left pot turned out as shown here. The left pot failed mainly because of two reasons. One, I didn't wait long enough for the concrete to dry. As you can see in this picture, it was still too wet. And two, I didn't center the inner mold properly, so there was an edge that was too thin, so it became susceptible to breaking off easily, which, as you can see in the picture, happened. The lessons I learned are to go slow when you're adding water, let the concrete dry long enough, your patience will be rewarded. And also I might go for some rubber molds in the future, because these plastic ones are a bit stiff and harder to remove. I've added the links to these other molds in the description down below. Feel free to try out these and let me know how they worked out. I might make another concrete video project soon when I get the other molds I've ordered. So stay tuned!